I'll continue this thing. This is from my book. Uh, the Quran says, what? And again, when I read my words, I'm using this side of my face. Muslims so I'm using that side in the Fu Manchu type of accent here. Okay. You don't... This is from... After seeing my back and forth with the new Hasnan Sheikh uh, jumps in, possible to defend new. He says this. He says this. You don't even know anything. You just grab verses out of context and tells and tell us the whole book is violent. For instance, someone says, quote, I killed it out of there on the stage, unquote. You just take, I killed it. It's not, it's gonna seem violent and seem like he just killed someone. I can disprove all your claims. Also stop spamming everywhere with this misused virus, uh, with misused verses. I wonder what I said. Uh, you don't. Uh, yeah, then, then he says, that, "Okay." Then I take it apart. He says this: "You don't know anything. Not even how to tie my shoes. You just grab verses out the context and tell us the whole book is violent. The whole book. If I took Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39 out of context, then put them in context. Okay. For instance." Someone says, I killed it out there on the stage, unquote. If you just take, I killed it, unquote. It's going to seem violent and seem like he just killed someone. How is this like Quran 9, 111, 30, and 39? I can disprove all your claims. Well, then do so. Also, stop spamming everywhere with this mist with these misused verses. If kill and be killed the cause of Allah or experience a painful doom is not what Quran 9, 111, 38 and 39 mean, tell what they really do mean then. You know? Muslims who uh, join ISIS Oh shit. Yeah, Muslims who uh, join ISIS uh, seem to have seem to see those scriptures the way I see them. Yeah, they they do. Those verses were for the companions of our prophet. Are you saying they are no longer to be followed? If so, you need to let your fellow Muslims know that since so many of them are joining ISIS. To still follow them, do you say quote, do you say it quote all people who believe kill etc. or experience a painful doom? Yes, I do. Thanks to Quran 9, 11, 30, 38, and 39. Yeah, it isn't a command for all the believers to kill. How do you know? How do you know it's not a command for all the believers to kill? Do you even know what? My Quran was revealed. Quote, I feel your Lord hasteneth to, uh, quote, I feel your Lord hasteneth to fulfill your wishes and desires, unquote, said by Aisha to Muhammad after a revelation. Let me answer that. No. Then what is it? Quran, Quran wasn't revealed as book or scribe rather orally. Right. It started out that way. Are you familiar with Quran 4.15? If that, if it was a command, it would be sent as a scribe, not, not, nope. What's a scribe, not, nope? It was God's words he sent when the prophet and his companions were in trial and tribulations or wanted something, I see. Are you feel, familiar with the first part of Quran 424 and how that was handed down? He would tell them what to do. And of course, they listen without question, it seems. The Muslims were going through executions and mass killings just for announcing their religion. If that's true, if, well, why would that be the case? Then Allah increased the number of Muslims to 300, and thus happened a war between Mashak, uh, for, uh, Mashak for the Holy Kaaba, the sacred stone of Mecca. Which was, which was later stolen 
why did I say lated? No, which was later stolen. Why in the heck did I say lated? Later stolen and peed on by Abu Tair of the Karmatians before holding it for ransom and returning it in pieces back to Mecca some decades later. The disbelievers had set up idols there. Right. And Muhammad and his followers bowed to the Kaaba while they were there before Muhammad destroyed them. But it also sounds like Muhammad and followers bowed to the three daughter goddesses of Allah even after Muhammad destroyed the idols, where he then blamed it on Satan for making him bow down to them. Later, though, he called them exalted cranes, which I believe got into the clear signs, the clear book, the Quran. That's when these commands came to fight the disbelievers who boycotted them. You sure that isn't Muslim code for, quote, because they refused to pay jizzy tax after sacred months were passed? Um, see Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29. And you know something? He never responded to me after that. Didn't respond after that. Anyway, it continues. Now, another guy, another Muslim here. Named, I'll, I'll just call him Lee, but I'm not going to mention his name here. On their killing is only in Bible. Now this is uh, for a uh, a uh, video I saw called "Son Beaten to Death for Not Memorizing the Quran." Yeah, a son was beaten to death. A little boy was beaten to death for not being uh, for not memorizing the Quran, and that's what got that Muslim saying some uh, saying uh, "Honor Killing is in the Bible." And we'll see if that's true. But first, I got to uh, make this thing legible, so I can uh, read it to you fast without problems here. Okay. All right. She probably had Quran nine. Uh, she, she probably had Quran eighteen, sorry eighteen, seventy-four, seventy-four through eighty-one in mind, where an innocent youth is killed by a traveling companion of Musa or Moses, uh, just by his fearing he and his parents, he and the boy's parents fearing that the boy will uh, would uh, grow up to disappoint parents or show ungratefulness toward Allah as if those are good reasons to kill anyone, let alone innocent youth uh, uh, anyway Quran 18, 74 through 81 opens the door to quote, honor, unquote, killing and again that's on the video called Son Beaten to Death for Not Memorize the Quran Whoever you are there is always hope because Allah is the most merciful. If Islam is true, the only hope one has is if Allah wrote special instructions before you were born and after you were a blood clot. That will let you know Allah willed you on the right path rather than Allah will have willed you off the right path. Because it's those special instructions written in the womb according to the uh, Sahih Hadith that uh, has you whether you're going to be in hell or not. After your blood clot, you find those instructions are given to you by an angel in the womb, according to uh, Muhammad. Yeah. Allah does not forgive that engages him. Uh, according to the Quran, only believing Allah might have a partner is unforgivable. So I think you're wrong that Allah won't forgive or engaging him. Unforgive and without it. So again, read. You're not gonna lose anything. If the angel is true and the Quran is wrong, sounds like I will lose a lot for not having Christ as my Lord and Savior and instead believing that being on a prayer rug five times a day, every day, would be my Savior. Allah is and then, oh, oh, you know something? My friend jumped in here and it threw, throws me off. But then this stealth Muslim jumps in. And it becomes confusing. And uh, I don't want to read his words because it becomes confusing. Yeah. Anyway. But I'll go back to the one I was talking to. He says, he says this. Whatever you say, just wanted... Yeah, my, my friend in that uh, stealth Muslim are making it confusing because... I, 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 I'm two-faced. I'm not three-faced or four-faced, if you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I can do voices, I just can't do faces. I, can only, I only have uh, ugly face and semi-okay face. Okay. All right. 
Whatever you say. Just what? How much time do I have left here? Oh, okay, I, I think I can finish this up here. All right. Yeah. Whatever you say, just wanted to make things clear to you. So, you will have an uh, argument on the day of judgment. God is enough. And yes, the agent. Oh, shoot, my friend is talking again. That's going to confuse things. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm going to skip this. It's too confusing when when he and gets in there because it just it just sort of, I, I like my friend but it, it makes it confusing here and okay but anyway the other Muslim says this says this um, <sighs> stop lying and stay uh, stop lying that story to young boy murdered by Christian because Christian they whole ship that can't come from April Fool celebrate Muslims not celebrate April Fool I, I'm not talking about the ship part of Quran 1874 through 81 I'm talking about the as for the youth the quote as for the youth unquote part that part of Quran 1874 through 81 honor killing is only in Bible not in Islam anti-Muslims do honor killing they follow it Bible if it's only in, if it's only the Bible, why do so many Muslims kill their daughters for being too westernized? Why did the Muslim husband of Bridges TV saw his pretty Pakistani wife's head off in the very broadcast center of Bridges TV, a center designed to show Islam in a nice way to the West with Muslim uh, comedians? Unquote. By the way, if only the Bible, if only the Bible are uh, there are quote, honor killings. Oh, uh, okay, uh, why in the Quran was a boy killed by a traveling companion of Musa, Moses, just uh, by fearing that the boy would grow up to disappoint parents or show ungratefulness toward Allah? You think those are good reasons to kill anyone, let alone an innocent youth? Which Musa says the boy was, called the boy an innocent youth, and yet he was killed because he, because the traveling companion Musa, and the boy's parents feared that he would grow up to disappoint parent, disappoint them, or show ungrateful and start all up. And then the very next scripture says, uh, and they were uh, they they trusted that Allah would uh, uh, replace the boy with one that's uh, closer in affection. So I think that's creepy, if you ask me. And of course, I think that opens up the door to quote honor killings, and that's what happened to Bridges TV, even though it was a wife, not a kid. <laughs> 